This is Ron from Super 8 to Video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy and crop a Super 8 or 8mm film with your scanner the easy way. This is a 5 inch reel that I bought on eBay. It actually only had two films on it. This one in my right hand, it had a 1940s film and is in black and white. This one in my left hand, it's a color film from the 1960s. And I'm going to use this to show you how to actually copy it the easy way. When zooming, the machines copy digitally. So we have our choice. We can zoom digitally with the machine or digitally with video editing software because both methods copy digitally the easy way to copy films, especially films that are on larger reels because they are multiple three minute films spliced together. The easiest way is to take this W, which is the zoom in and zoom out and zoom out all the way. If you notice, these sprockets are beginning to show, but you just go all the way out until W, is at zero. And of course, you center your X and your Y, and then you start the copy process. Check out what happens when I set W, or the zoom, at 18 on the black and white film instead of zero. In a minute, it will get to the color 1960s film. When it does, notice the top came down, some of the left, bottom, and even right side of the picture is missing. When you set W to zero, this doesn't happen. The machine and software zoom digitally. Since both methods zoom digitally, it makes very little difference in the picture quality. So it is easiest to set W at zero and then copy the films. First, we have to bring in the black and white and color movie onto the timeline. I'm not working on the overlay track, but on the timeline. At this point, Video Studio Pro sees these two movies as one single clip. We have to change that and create two separate clips. So I'm dragging this over so about right there is the spot. So then we take the scissors and clip them and it separates the black and white movie from the color movie. Then I always like to go into the middle of the clip somewhere, doesn't have to be perfect, but somewhere like right here and double click the clip and it brings up these little squares or sometimes it'll be a rectangle but when it's on the scale mode which is what it's on now it's a square when you come here to the distort tools you come over to this little right thing it is now on crop mode notice that turned into a rectangle so left click and hold, bring this up, bring this down. It's always left click and hold. So now we've got the movie cropped, but we want to make it as big as possible. To do that, we've got to come back to Distort Tools put it back in scale mode. Now this bottom corner, if you notice, it turns into a double arrow at a 45. Drag it out. And then we do the same thing with this top left side and drag it out. And that gives us the proper scale. Now this black bar here and this black bar here cannot be helped because Super 8 and 8 millimeter films were roughly 4 by 3. 
So if you came here and said, oh, I want to fill it in, and you pull this over and pull this over, yes, it does fill the screen, but it stretches the people out. So I don't like to do that. So undo here, undo here. So now this is film is done. If you notice, we can play it, and that's what you'll have. One thing I do want to mention, don't right-click here and use any of these features, anchor at the top, center, bottom, keep aspect ratio. You will find they cause more problems than you think, and they don't do what you would think they would do. So my advice is don't right-click and use any of them. Do everything manually. Now we're going to go to the color film, and we've got to double click it. Come to the distort tools, put it in crop mode, same thing, left click and hold. Now the truth is, I personally like to stop right here and keep the rest of this picture and then I fill in this sprocket holes with some black and I'll link you to a video at the end of this video if you want to learn how to do that but we're doing things the easy way right now so we'll come in like it was meant to be seen when you did it through a projector and I'm going to deliberately leave a little bit of this sprocket hole here to show you that you can start to play and see how you can see the sprocket hole here and up here so you can pause it and then come back to this and bring it in a little more if you want and then play it again until you get those completely copied out so once that's done you have to come back to the distort tools click on scale mode come to the bottom pull it out here and pull it out here but if you notice it's no longer centered oh, let's bring him down a little bit okay I see how this top is showing right up here to straighten that out I would just go back to crop mode bring it down a little bit then I would go back to scale mode and stretch it back out and you just do that till you get the film exactly how you like it but if you notice we've only got a little bit of black here and a lot of black here we want to move it so we'll move it till we get it centered manually and if you notice I have a little bit of the sprocket hole showing here so again I would come go to crop mode and bring it in a little bit more and then go back to scale mode and now I can move it over till I get it about like where I want it now when I play the film it comes out the way that I like it so that is the easy way to crop a Super 8 and 8 millimeter film. Zooming out on the machine darkens the exposure of the film. Zooming in brightens the exposure of the film. Soon you will see the moon setting. Clicking the card on the left will take you to a video I did with more details about this effect using the machine. The video now playing on the left is cropped the quick and easy way. The video on the right is the same video cropped the way I prefer to copy, with all the picture showing. I then cover the sprocket holes with black matching the surrounding black bars. In a few seconds, the video of the moon setting will appear. Clicking on the card to the right will take you to the video showing how to cover the sprocket holes. I have also left links in the description below to these two videos. This is Ron from 
Super 8 to Video, signing off.